If you wanted to be a content creator here on YouTube or other social media platforms, for example TikTok, here are some of my thoughts that might help you pursue or not pursue your dream to be a content creator. From the moment that I saw you. Hi, my name is Jai. Before we start, gusto ko lang pakita sa inyo yung natanggap ko today. Kasi medyo marami akong natanggap today. We got two packages from ASUS. Yung kanilang bagong ROG Keris 2. Ace and yung Asus VG3A series na 180Hz or something. Hindi ko pa na research And from Philworld, kanilang newest PM1 microphone podcast mic. One of the perks of being a content creator is that yun niya, you work with the brands that you love or you like. Some of the top brands in the industry sa iba't ibang niche tech man or like video making, videography, mga ganyan. Hindi naman palaging nasa taas or hindi lang naman palaging pros yung pagiging isang content creator. Isang uh, struggles is yung first of all, you have to work 24-7. Well, in my case, 24-7 kailangan nagtatrabaho. I mean, gusto ko yung ginagawa ko. Gusto ko mag-shoot, gusto ko mag-edit. So, hindi siya nakapagod for me. Though physically, minsan exhausting talaga. Nakapagod. Physically, yeah, pero at least ginagawa ko yung gusto ko. I don't go on vacation. Siguro ito, personal preference lang to kasi gusto ko talaga nasa bahay. Pero <laughs> ako, ako personally, hindi talaga ako nagbabaksyon kasi parang hindi ko naman kailangan since hindi naman ako napapagod sa ginagawa ko. Pero if you want to invest sa craft or sa channel or sa crea- content creation, isa rin magandang way, of course, yung pagtunan mo rin ng pansin. Of course. I mean, hindi hindi siya kagaya ng may may sak may saktong oras ka lang like nine hours ka lang sa work pagka content creator kasi almost twenty four seven ako almost twenty four seven din ako minsan nag nag edit nag shoot minsan sobra sobra pa nga so yun another thing is sometimes we don't have due date so walang magpupush sa men to really do the things or to really finish the things or the videos or mga task na kailangan namin matapos so kailangan meron kang discipline and walang ibang mag-push sa'yo kundi yung sarili mo. So, it's one of the things that I've really struggled with when starting and actually ngayon, nag-struggle pa rin ako pero, alam mo yun, along the way na ma-manage naman natin, na ma-manage ko naman na to show up kahit na minsan nakakapagod, minsan minsan hindi din naman, I mean, hindi naman palaging always on top or everyday hindi naman palaging productive. Gets nyo ba yun? Di ba? Medyo magulo yun eh. Kasi sabi ko kanina, parang hindi naman ako nag-work. Pero ngayon, medyo exhausting. I mean, gig. Wait lang, magbibigay ako ng scenario. Let's say ganito, I've been working on a specific project. For example, one brand na gustong gusto ko talagang gawin. So, magtatrabaho ko like for example, straight one week or straight two weeks, ganyan. Pero, it doesn't feel like work kasi nga, na-enjoy ko naman din mag-shoot, na-enjoy ko rin naman mag-edit, gumawa ng script. Pero, after that, syempre hindi naman, kumbaga, anong tawag dito? Hindi naman agad mag-jump ka into another project. Kumbaga, magpapahinga ka rin kasi, syempre, having a day off or a quick break, essential pa rin yan. Kasi dun, nagre-rejuvenate yung ideas and doon nare-restore yung ibang mga or doon nabubuo minsan yung ideas eh sa mga sa mga quick breaks eh for me yan mga ganyan tapos ano pa ba marami ring struggles na hindi nakikita ng tao pero like for example ito pa syempre you're putting yourself out there in the public so hindi natin alam yung sasabihin ng ibang tao sa'yo as much as possible ako I, I want to be genuine as possible. I want to be honest and unbiased as possible. Kasi nga, syempre gusto ko rin namang mag yung trust ng audience ko. Kasi nga, hindi lang naman ito yung, yung magiging mga project. I mean, yung, mag, yung goal ko about this, about content creation. Kung baga, ano lang to eh. There's something bigger. Ano lang to, start lang to. Pero I'm making sure na hindi magsisisi or hindi. My audience will not regret that they followed or they subscribed to me or to our channel. Your mouth is maple whiskey. So if you really like making contents, doing videos every day, non-stop, and then investing in yourself, in your craft, in your skills, 
ano pa ba? You can start things slow. Huwag na, huwag kayong agad-agad na magjump into full-time content creator like me kasi it's very very risky and hindi talaga recommended. Just like in other scenarios in life, 'di ba? Hindi ka naman agad magjump into something na wala kang plan or hindi ka naman agad magjump into under, another job or another or create your own business without any plans, 'di ba? So That's very risky pero nagawa ko naman siya pero ngayon na medyo okay na yung utak ko kasi nung nagsimula ako hindi naman maayos yung utak ko. <laughs> hindi ko siya nire-recommend kasi very very risky siya. Lalo if mabilis kayo mapagod. Isa pa pala, hindi duwag na wag na wag niyong gagawing motivation ang dahil mabilis kayo mapapagod. And hindi yun, hindi talaga, I mean narinig nyo naman na to sa ibang mga creators na it's not about the, ako personally hindi naman ako nag-earn agad-agad eh. Like parang 2 to 3 years pa eh. You also have to take that in mind. Yun, yun lang naman yung ano, mga thoughts ko about content creation. Hopefully, meron kayo natutunan. And if ever man content creator ka, you're starting out, or if pinanood mo to, tapos matagal ka ng content creator, please, please leave us a comment kung ano yung magandang mga tips para sa amin ng mga starting content creator and of course sa mga aspiring content creators din na mga manonood or magbabasa or susubaybay sa video na to. May, sana may matutunan sila sa atin and sana may matutunan din kami sa comment section and kasi yeah, yun naman ang goal in life to always be the dumbest person in the room and learn from the smartest one. Thank you so much guys. Again, my name is Jai. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys learned something from this video and see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. By the way, ang video na to ay walang ka-script script. Parang spur of the moment lang. It's currently 3.35 a.m. and parang gusto ko lang talagang hit the record and go. Boom. Share ko lang. Subscribe!